Well, I'm here with Brian and we're digging in the crates. We picked out CDs from your collection, Brian. James Brown, let's see this one. What you got on there? Is that like a greatest hits? It is, in fact, a greatest hits. It's got, you know, it's got, uh, actually, it's got 29, 29 different songs on it. And, uh, you know, actually, it's kind of hard, kind of hard to find a James Brown that isn't a greatest hit. The next one here is, this is a collection of, uh, of, um, of North Indian Rag. Okay. Uh, um, uh, it's, uh, you know, sitar music with the tabla. And uh, it's uh, really fabulous. Uh, there's a morning rag and an evening rag on here. Okay. Uh, I don't know the difference, but uh, they're to be played at different times of day. Uh, so where did you find this one? This is a burnt CD. You got that uh, burned off from someone? Yes, this is a, this is a pro friend of mine. Okay. And this is library. Oh. This is bad brains. Is almost impossible to describe. Uh, they're uh, they're uh, black reggae punk thrash metal. And. Uh, and Pay to Come is only one of the greatest songs of all time, right? <laughs> and now this one, this album, what's good about this album? Well, this particular one, oh, well, it's, it's got some you know, big edition on it, and uh, it's just you know, bad brains, uh, you should listen to them, because they're just fabulous. So this one? This one here is a collection of uh, traditional Arabian takhat, which is um, an oud and um, uh, a dumbek and vocal. And uh, it's traditional Arabic music, and uh, in various various modes of Arabic music, uh, they have specific uh, rhythmic modes and specific melodic modes, actually, also, um, which are you know tremendously good. And what's uh, a good time of the day for that music? Every every this time is music evening. has evening music. Okay, just evening music. Evening music. Mm -hmm. And then of course. I, I laughed when I saw this one, Dread Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. We took Led Zeppelin and what, reggae? And what was it? Yes, they're, uh, you know, it's almost parody. And, uh, but parody. Weren't they California band, 90s, early 90s? Yes, and parody is, of course, uh, one of the highest forms of, of flattery. Right. <laughs> and what was your favorite song on this one by Dread Zeppelin? Um, oh, well, they, you know, they did, um, huh, they did, um, well, <laughs> Harry Potter Stephen. Although that's a, that particular one is, uh, of course, uh, the battle servers. Elvis. <laughs> and Camp Van Beethoven, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, they, I went to school with these guys. They're fabulous people. And uh, um, they, uh, again, very eclectic. <laughs> Santa Cruz, right? All of Santa them? Cruz, yes. They all met down in college down there or something, yes, right? back in 1981. Uh, they had their own record company also. What was it called again? Pigeon Tent Records. They also actually um, produced a number of other local bands like Spot 1019 and uh, a couple of other ones uh, on their record label. Uh, great people, great music. Um, there's a quick story too, by the way, which is uh, that um, when they, they uh, after having spent years doing um, uh, what they liked, uh, they got signed to Virgin Records. And they were sent off on a, uh, a big European tour, and after a couple of weeks, they um, uh, went to Lowry, who was a singer, and said, You know what? We're tired of this, and we quit and we're going home. Which they did. And went back to uh, doing what they liked. Which I admire. And, and then the band that they morphed into that he had then after, what was it called? Cracker. Cracker, that's right. Yes. Uh, whereas. Um, Jonathan did Geronimus Firebrain and uh, um, uh, Chris Mola and uh, Victor Kruenacher did uh, Monks of Doom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Okay, well, thank you for talking music, Brian. Appreciate thank it. Well, thank you.